this house is on Walnut Place in Altamont Springs, Florida, zip code 32701. So pan around the neighborhood. There's heading north. It's across the street there. They're heading south. This house is a bank owned foreclosure. It's uh, originally built as three bedrooms, one and a half baths. The um, carport garage area was enclosed to make it into like a fourth bedroom kind of house. This is a concrete block except for the enclosure area over there that uh, has siding on it. Just to uh, show you a little bit over here. This house does have a few issues with it. You know, the um, air conditioning heater system is uh, not working. The, uh, the unit, exterior fan unit, is gone. It has been stolen or vandalized. Let's <clears throat> so walk in a little bit in the front door. It's, uh, m most of the uh, living areas are tile. It's kind of an interesting closet area right here, right by the front door. So this is the living room, slash dining room, I would guess, is what you call it. Um, big, decent sized kitchen. It's got a kind of counter bar area. All the appliances are gone except for the microwave. It does have a um, place for refrigerator range and dishwasher that are empty at the moment. Good sized kitchen though. Decent looking cabinets too. So the ones on the bottom need uh, at least to be refaced. This is the enclosed garage carport area. It uh, could be a fourth bedroom or an office or whatever. It does have its own separate entrance over here to the side. And does have a, a closet here so it could be considered a bedroom. Uh, behind it is a laundry area. A lot of cabinets here. And it's got the washer dryer hookups and a gas water heater. This is the breaker panel. Kind of see. Looks like it might be the original. That's some baseboards missing down on the bottom there on the edge. May not be able to see it, but the this is an air conditioner closet. The uh, can't really see; it's dark. But the air conditioner—it's a, it's a gas uh, air conditioner heater. It is damaged. The front cover is missing, so it probably needs to be replaced. Full bathroom, a tub, sink, toilet. Uh, everything's intact. Looks kind of old. Probably could definitely stand a facelift. Bedroom here has sliding glass going back out to the backyard. This is here's the uh, master bedroom has a half bathroom in here, toilet and sink, decent sized walk-in closet there. Okay, the thermostat on the wall. So that's there. Um, th this is a th third bedroom. Here it has three original bedrooms and one and a half baths, and then the garage enclosure is a fourth bedroom. <coughs> Tile down here has got some issues. It's a gap and a little step up. It has two skylights in here. I don't know what's going on. But you can see there's some issues going on there. Be behind here is an interesting looking swimming pool. It's, I guess you what you would call it. Are you sure? There's actually uh, some fish swim around in here. Some goldfish even. I don't know if you can actually see anything in there, but uh, you can definitely see some there. But um, you know, it's a good good enough size to be a small swimming pool. But uh, somebody's maybe using it a koi fish pond. I don't know what somebody was thinking building this, but there it is. It has a utility shed in the back. This is the back side of the house. Can I see it? Looks like the roof is pretty new. There, it looks like it's just a few years old at most. 
Um, this house, it backs up to some woods here. There's a little buffer zone. There's actually the railroad tracks back in there that is going to be the main line for Sunrail at some point. So, but it is what it is. What can you do? Um, anyway, this is the house on Walnut Place in Altamont Springs.